Well, this bag is bleeding out. <laughs> so honestly, that was pretty awkward. <laughs> so beautiful. I like this plant. Hold steady. She fell right on her bum, and it's Kendra. <laughs> Last night we flew from Paris, France to the UK and we are staying in London for a whole month. We're actually 30 minutes outside of London in a smaller area and oh my goodness, we came in last night and we are loving this rental. Here's the entranceway. We love that there's all these hooks we can hang all our jackets on. When you come into this room, it's the main front living area. Laura's all snuggled up. This is one of the reasons why we chose this house. I'm so happy. They have this charts book too, which is awesome. But mostly I get to know, figure out how to play all the songs I've been liking recently. We also were very excited that this house has a game closet. I think I'm most excited for throw through a burrito. <laughs> That'll be a good one. Back out here, we've got all sorts of bins for our shoes and our adventure gear, and into the kitchen, which is so cute. And there's Jeremy. I just love this kitchen. And it's got a beautiful view to a toilet. Just kidding, out of the door. It's nice to have a toilet down here though. Here's the outside view, and yes, that is a trampoline and a clothesline. You know what I love back there is the tree. Shape. All the plants. Yeah, there's so many beautiful plants. I even love the artwork here. We really, really love the decor of the home. This door and window is my favorite. I want one of these someday. A half door window? That's just so cute. Anyway, it's got everything we need dishwasher, good sized fridge. All right, up here on the first floor. We have a full bathroom with a bathtub, which the girls were really excited about. Janae and Laura were really excited to have a bathtub. We haven't had that for the last couple houses and Janae already took a bath this morning. I was really excited about this spot. It's a washer and a dryer. Hello? Hi. Whose room is this? Hi. I sleep right, Ooh. You sleep right there? Who do you share the room with? Laura. What? Where does Laura sleep? There. So they've got some books, and they've got a great view of the backyard. Janae, what's your favorite part of the backyard? The trampoline! Do you like the trampoline? I haven't jumped on it, though. Not yet? Yeah, no one would do it with me. What? Yeah. We gotta get out there. Was it because it was raining? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. It was wet. Okay. Oh, there's a slug that I met this morning. His name is George. You met a slug named George? Yep. You've had a busy morning. Back out here and up just a couple steps, and we have Caleb's room. Hi. Hi. You writing in your journal? Yeah. About. I just did a long one about uh, Normandy. Ooh, very cool. Long as yet. So Caleb has a loft bed and so many books in his room. I have Calvin and Hobbes, which I love Calvin and Hobbes. I have a few books at home. So LED I lights and this cat, that's so cool. This cat. I love the view from Caleb's room. Out of Caleb's room, we come into Jeremy and I's room, which it was so fun to get to unpack. Oh my goodness. I'll show you the view from our room. One of our favorite things is because we are staying here for an entire month, we are all unpacking. All the suitcases are put away. We've got stuff in the dressers and hanging up and that just feels so refreshing. I love there's little fireplaces in several of the rooms. To the next floor, again, more gorgeous plants and so much light with the skylight. This is a storage room, so we're not going in there. And up, Elise. Hello. Can you show us your room? Oh yes. Okay, so right now I'm doing my journal. Um, we have a TV. Um, I sleep on this side, Isaac sleeps on that side, and we have a gorgeous view right here. That is such a fun view! I cannot not look out there and not think of uh, the Chim Chimney song in Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Anyway, we have these awesome windows. Technically, get on the roof, but we're not going to. Yeah, we're not going to. <laughs> and then I have my drawers. Well, Did you unpack? 
Well, I have my packing cubes, but I'm gonna unpack the packing cubes soon. I took stuff out of the packing cubes. It feels weird because I feel like I'm gonna leave next week, but I'm not. You're staying for a whole month. And then I have all my stuff here. I have my shell from the D-Day beach. I feel like the plant plants just make it alive. I love it. The plants make everything in this house feel so happy. Oh yeah, okay, the bathroom. Which is not your bathroom. It is the other family bathroom. Yeah, I'm just glad we don't have to walk all the way downstairs. That's true. Okay, so there's a shower, a toilet, and another smiling Elise, and another window. I've cut up on my journal. Nice, so you journaled about traveling yesterday from Paris mm -hmm. to London. And all about the Oh yeah, that was yesterday. Oh my gosh, that already feels like a long time ago. I know, right? So what do you think of sharing a room with Isaac? Uh, depends on the mood. <laughs> Everywhere we're staying this year has different layouts of bedrooms and bed configurations, and we're kind of switching up which kids stay with which kids in which spot. In this particular house, we decided to put Isaac and Elise together because they are both our late sleepers. And so we figured that if they were on the very top floor, that they could sleep longer and not be disturbed. Also, it's kind of fun for each different kid to have their own time to get their own space. And Caleb has that moment right now. Elise and Isaac are both really into books right now. Yeah. So basically this room is a reading room. Yeah. So this rental that we're staying at isn't a vacation rental. It's actually someone's home. And I love that because it means that the kitchen is fully equipped, the knives are sharp, and they have things like a game closet. Like it's just, it feels more homey because it's someone's home. I also love seeing the genius things that other houses have that now, Jeremy, did you see this? What is it? Did you see this? I do. <laughs> Look at all those spices. So these are like giant tweezers to get like toast out of the toaster when it's too far in and you don't want to burn your hands. That's genius. It is really genius. And it's got a little magnet so it just sticks right there. So we're toasting these potato waffles. They're gluten free. You just pop them in the toaster. And he's got binoculars. What you gonna look for? You. They have french fries. Is that what it is? You took a little nibble and it's a french fry? Well, it's called a potato waffle. Do you want some ketchup with your potato waffle? Yes. <laughs> Lori, you made your snack so cute. Thank you. And they have a chessboard. Destroying me. What? Did he just win? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. He won. I know he has so many more more than I, I get one. Yes. Oh, that's over. Can I play dad? I've been on a winning streak against Isaac. And then this. So what do you guys think of our street here in London? It's so cute. I like it. It feels like Mary Poppins. The chimneys mixed especially. Mixed our one house that had like four stories and was really skinny. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim churu. There's a lot of reasons that we loved this rental that we're staying at. The piano, the trampoline, yes. it's adorable. But this, I think, is the biggest reason we chose this house, is that about 50 yards away. Oh wait, do they do yards or meters? I think they do yards here. Yay! 50 yards away is the woods. So yeah, I think they do use the imperial system here. I think it's where it came from. So yeah, our house is, you know, right there. Hello. Isn't this magical, you guys? Yeah, there's blackberries here. It's amazing how close we are to the city yeah. and how this feels. Just completely in the forest, in the woods. Warning, there is thorns. Thorns? Thorns, 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 thorns. These are thorny. This is where we found the fox, so everyone has to be a little bit more quiet so we can see that. This morning before anyone else woke up, Laura and Janae and I came out here and did a little bit of exploring. Oh, that's a chipmunk. Chipmunk! Do you guys see it? Chipmunk! Do you guys hear the birds? Isaac makes this little noise that sounds like a bird. I'm running out of open your mouth. Of air? <laughs> Juice. So Janae did this. She jumped over the puddle and what happened? I slid. She fell right on her bum. Wait, so where did That's you That's okay. Land? We got all cleaned up in the bath. Yep. I am safe and I 
We had to go and clean her up. She got mud all over. We're in the Epping Forest Wenstead Park area. We love to find places that are close enough where we can head in easily to explore the city, but also have nature really close by because our family does better with lots of time in nature. And by our family, I mean, I mean me and our kids and, and Jeremy. We all, we all really, really need nature. And we just want to get one for the rest of the trip. <laughs> yeah. Look at that smile. One of my favorite parts about this walk this morning is that Janae keeps teaching me about everything she sees. She sees plants with thorns and um, she wants to warn me about them. She told me where it would be a good spot for foxes so I should be quiet. She pointed out when she saw a squirrel. I love walking with you. Half puddle. Hopefully I don't die if I jump it. We met some locals and they said, oh, you're so lucky you got a sunny day. And we're like, oh, apparently it rains a lot, a lot, a lot here because like, it, I do see some sunlight. But in Puerto Rico, we wouldn't call this a sunny day. We would call this a cloudy day. I heard Isaac exclaim, that tree is magnificent. It's true, it's a magnificent tree. This tree looks like it would have been really easy to climb like a couple hundred years ago when it was shorter. Now it's pretty tall. Amazing. Some parts of the path are a little muddy. Look for the trumpeter swans up here. Yeah. Like it might be sweet. Give it a try. Is that it sweet? No so good. It was sweet. You just have to find the ones that are gonna like bulge. Yeah, they're juicy. <laughs> Watch out, they're thorny. Was it good? Okay. I got a sweet one. Good job. No. Not sweet. So, 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 so sour. I picked like 10 and got two like half sweet ones. Yeah. I just checked and blackberry season has just barely started in London. So we'll be able to enjoy these all month and they should just be getting more ripe and more sweet. So we're just at the very beginning of blackberry season. They might get sweeter. By the time we end, we need to come and take them all. Whoa. And then sell them. <laughs> and then sell them? <laughs> we should make blue blackberry pie. And mm -hmm. then people take them. All right, we found the playground area. I am the queen! So if you had a ball, you could try to roll, roll it down in fun, creative ways. I try and get to that log and that'll be the first one. Trying to figure out how to get up into this tree. Okay. <laughs> I like this plan. Wait, Hold you have steady. To go closer to the tree. <laughs> Sorry about your <laughs> Wait, so how's Caleb going to get up once you're up? I'm going to hoist him up. All right, we made it. My first time. First, I want to try getting up myself. Okay. The boots and socks are off. I found it. It's not a very grippy tree. Dad, help me. <laughs> he lost his grip. All right, he's gonna try again. You finally made it up. Was it a group effort? Yeah. <laughs> well, poor Janae got into some plant that gave her a little bit of a rash, and it's hurting. What are you making? A fairy house. After I do this Lincoln log effect, I'm gonna put mud on there so it's. Days. Mm -hmm. So then every time I come here, I can build it up. Well, the fact that people speak English here has made it easier to connect, strike up, strike up conversations, and meet other people. We actually just met a family here at the park, and they do homeschool as well. I think they called it home educated. That sounds very lovely. Yeah. I think I'm going to call it home educated from now on. It's more formal. It sounds better than schooled. I don't want to be schooled. I would like to be educated.
all this summer we have heard about how hot it is in many of the places we love back in the states for example our family in arizona has just been going through the hottest summer in recorded history we have been so fortunate that all the places we have been have had perfect weather it's been really important too because we don't have air conditioning and we haven't in most of the places we've stayed and the weather has been around 70 degrees constantly mom you got this We love nature-focused parks. Oh, fun! Whoa! All right, the kids have obviously turned this into a competition. Laura has done it in 19 seconds. Isaac's last attempt was 30 seconds, so he's really feeling the pressure. Yeah. This is really the key, though. How do you do with the ropes part? the final time. No, it wasn't on. What was it? It was like 24. 24 seconds. Laura still has the record with 19. She got 19? Yeah. Janae found the dogs. I have my own dog and just, just the Thank you for letting us say hi to your dogs. What are their names? Uh, this guy, this guy is Enzo. Enzo? And she is Mila. Mila? Mila. Enzo and Mila. They're very cute. Are they golden doodles? No, they are toy poodles. Toy poodles. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> They're so friendly. And so, lots of people here. All the dogs. Even though yesterday we had an issue with another male dog. But so I again. finished it and then I did gardening. So I added trees. She added landscaping to it. And it's like a tiny fairy cabin. I love it. So we just barely missed this snake because we were all running up, but there's a snake in the bushes. It was definitely a snake. We are walking to the grocery store. Jeremy and I came over here last night to grab some food for breakfast in the morning, so I've already been. It is giant and has a really nice gluten-free section, so I'm excited for Kayla to pick some stuff out. I brought bunches of bags, and that's why the boys are with me because we're gonna need help carrying stuff back. So to get a trolley, you have to put in some coins, and we have zero pounds yet. So, let's just go use a little carrying basket. No, but we're getting so much. We're gonna have to carry a lot of them baskets. Maybe we, we haven't gone to an ATM yet, so we'll have to get one of those another time. This feels like a normal store, but in the past month, I've only seen small stores, and before I didn't even know those existed. Yeah, this feels very traditional to what we're used to in America. What are you thinking? They even have crumbs. I'm thinking that I'm very happy because they'll probably have a lot of gluten free. We had to get like shampoo and conditioner and body wash and deodorant and everything's in English. And so it's been very easy to find what we need or to ask help when we're needing to look for something. Caleb is in the gluten free section. Do you want to show us how big it is? Yeah. It keeps going. It goes, goes and then it's It's so long. That. It's the best we've had on this entire world trip. So Sorry. exciting. I mean, Sweden was amazing, but. This is just, there's so many options. There's, there's so many different cereals. There's oatmeal. It's getting to the point where it's hard to choose and usually I don't have a choice. Right? Caleb, what's exciting is over the month you can choose lots of different things. <laughs> it's a whole month. I sent Isaac in search of bagels and cream cheese. And what flavors did you find? All right, so for cream cheese, I have garlic and herbs, sweet chilies, and salmon. It's a little different than what we do in the States. I think we have cinnamon brown sugar, blueberry. Strawberry. Strawberry for the- That's chives. Chives, chives. Well, they have a whole nother kind. Can we get a small one of garlic and herbs? Jeremy's here. We and needed extra muscles if we want to get and a cart. some pounds. All right, so we bought a chocolate bar so that we could get change. It's a hexagon, not a circle. To get a pound, to get a cart. Let's see if you can figure out how this works. Did it. All right, now we can pick up all of our stuff. What did you buy? Uh, my chocolate bar. <gasps> you got me dirty. Yeah. My night shining armor coming with your 
Your stallion. Yes, and chocolate. And chocolate. So apparently, sausage rolls are a thing. Yeah. I don't know when you're supposed to eat them, but I you're think supposed they to. might be a good breakfast food for the kids. Anyway, I got sausage rolls and I found gluten-free ones. Okay. So, they're called pasties. Now, to me, that looks like an empanadilla. Mm-hmm. But it's cheese and onion pasties. And then it's also, it's also have, a calzone. They also have Cornish pasties. Mm -hmm. Do you think that would make a good like dinner? Sounds kind of like a hot pocket. Or a, okay. A, a calzone? Lunch. Yeah. Lunch? Well, I was waiting for Jeremy to come with the cart, which apparently is called a trolley here. Um, I had some downtime in this aisle. And the cheese, I noticed this super smart thing. Look, they number the strength of things. You can know if you want how stinky the cheese cheddar. is. This would have been useful in France. Isaac was asked to bring back a regular loaf of bread. This is like extra jumbo, large. Jumbo <laughs> slices. That says medium. <laughs> I, I couldn't even tell. Hmm. Now we have to see if we can carry it home. Do we, do we have enough bags? So this aisle is called biscuits. Guess what it is. Cookies. It is cookies. Isn't that no. fun? So I've heard of digestives before. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I think we have to try some. They sell Oreos by the roll here. That makes so much more sense. So much less packaging. Well, I've been really happily surprised to find that several of the things we've fallen in love with in other countries, they also sell here in this store. So the kids will be excited that they can continue eating those snacks and goodies while we're here. Well, we fit it in the bag. But I'm worried about the bags breaking. So the other thing is I just registered for the card because it actually saves a ton of money. Yeah. So we'll see. It's so a free us. card. It's not like a credit yeah, card. I it's just, just like a, a yeah. Good thing I brought the muscle. You don't deserve that many. You gonna carry one for me? Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Well, the challenging part is not walking to the grocery store. It's how in the world to carry enough back home to last us for more than just a couple of days. I would love to not come here every single day. So hopefully this was a good start. Get groceries effortlessly on Uber Eats. Wait a minute. You guys, there's a double decker bus. Well, this bag <laughs> is bleeding out. Unfortunately, there was a misplacement of bag and bag had spaghetti sauce in it. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Someone's gonna think you murdered a bag. <laughs> no, so we asked Isaac to babysit the bag while we go and just drop off the groceries. We're right up here. Let's this home and come back with a way to properly clean up that area. <laughs> Luckily we're really close. Do you have any words for the bag before we lay it to rest? At least I didn't do it. <laughs> you were a good bag. You're always a helpful bag at holding things up till the end. Okay. So honestly, that was pretty awkward. Right after they left, tons of people just came and walked by. Would they look at you in the bag? Yeah, they'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> Uh, did anyone ask about it? Yeah. What, what? How did that conversation go? Just like, are you okay? Do you need help? <laughs> it looks like you have like a human heart inside the bag or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodbye bag. When I look outside and all the children are watching <laughs> something and it's Kendra <laughs> throwing darts. They're real darts. She's hit all of them except for one. And they're pretty close. You've impressed the children. Woo! Wow. You know, this one is actually worth triple. Wait, so it's double, they, triple. That's my favorite one. This is the one they all choose. Daddy, daddy. Mm. Can I try? My favorite. What? I did not turn the camera on fast enough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jeremy is putting me to shame. Oh my goodness. Oh! <gasps> Ten-year-old Christmas. Oh! Oh! Dad, pros could do better than this. Yeah, but yeah, we're friends. What, what do pros do? The problem is you don't have any room for any more. You need to take them off before you redo them. Okay. <laughs> Jeremy. 
Janae discovered a fun new game. Whoa, it looks really fun. Is it a bird feeder? Yeah, and then I have no clue what that is. Maybe that feeds sort of birds. Dough with bird feed. Yeah. And I'm guessing this might be nectar or just dirty water. <laughs> we don't know. Those are I definitely apples. Are apples. Yeah. Dinner tonight is cottage pie. This is what it looks like what I would call shepherd's pie. And this one's not gluten free, so we found a smaller one. Yeah, and I don't know who's Here's on the front. Dinner. Maybe it's King Charles. Checking out the pounds. Maybe it's King Charles. Yeah, I'm just showing them what the pounds look like. This is the money. I think the see through spot is pretty cool. It's yeah. definitely my favorite money we've seen on this trip. Good night. Jay House out. Let us know in the comments where you think we're going. There was a serious problem with my bag. What happened? This would be one of the scariest mazes ever. Especially once we get to the bones. Oh, wow.